Today we are going to learn how to create a beautiful floating promo bar just like this one to increase our product sales. Our pop-up will have two steps. The first step will be the floating top bar where we will show a countdown timer and a message to urge visitors to use our coupon code. We will also show a button. When the button is clicked, we will display the second step of the pop-up, which will display the coupon. From your Brave Pop-Ups page click the plus icon from top to create a new pop-up. Give the pop-up a meaningful title. Then select the pop-up goal. Let's select Increase Sales since our goal is to increase sales. Once selected, you will see all the ready-made pop-ups for the Increase Sales category. Let's click the Start with Blank as we want to start from scratch. The pop-up will be created and you will be redirected to the pop-up editor screen. Since we are going to make a floating top bar, we will go to the pop-up layout setting and click the top slash bottom bar option. Then we will reduce the height of the pop-up to our need. As we do not want to display any overlay background for our pop-up, we will disable the overlay from the pop-up overlay section. Now let's select a background for our pop-up. Go to pop-up style tab and click the background image selection box to add a background image to the pop-up. Let's also add a darker overlay on top of the background image so that any text we write on our pop-up becomes more readable. Since we do not want visitors to close the pop-up, we will hide the close button. Now let's add our message. We will now add a countdown timer to our pop-up. Countdown timers are great to significantly boost the conversion rate by urging visitors to perform an action. To add a countdown timer, expand the More button from the Elements panel and drag and drop the countdown timer into your pop-up. Now let's customize the look of the timer from the Style tab. Once we have styled the timer, we will go to the Timer tab to set when the timer should end. We will also remove the days count from the timer by enabling the Disable Days option. Let's resize and reposition the timer. Now let's add a button in our pop-up. Double-click the button to edit the button text. Let's change the color and the font of the button. Let's add a colorful icon to make our pop-up more vibrant. Drag and drop a shape element and then resize it.
To convert the shape element into an icon, click the Icon tab from the Element Settings panel. Now let's select the icon. Brave Pro lets you search from 30,000s of free icons. Let's keep the default diamond icon and change its color. Now let's save the settings and preview our pop-up. It looks great on desktop. Let's see how it looks on mobile. As you can see, our pop-up is not mobile friendly. Although Brave automatically displays a squeezed version of the pop-up on mobile devices, it cannot do that for floating pop-ups. We will have to create a custom layout for mobile devices. Let's close the preview and create a custom mobile layout for our pop-up. First, switch to mobile mode from bottom. Now let's change the pop-up layout to top bar just like we did for our desktop layout. Then reduce the height of the pop-up. We will also disable the pop-up overlay. Let's add a background image to our pop-up and then add an overlay on it. Now let's remove the pop-up close button. Once we are done with the pop-up layout, we will copy the content from the desktop layout of the pop-up and paste it in our mobile layout. Since mobile devices have small display size, we will customize our message and make it shorter to fit the screen. Now let's go back to the desktop layout and copy the button element. Resize it to fit inside the pop-up. Let's copy our countdown timer and paste it in our mobile layout. Let's save the pop-up and preview to see how it will look on mobile devices. Click the Desktop tab to preview the desktop layout. Perfect. Now let's create a second step that will be shown when visitors click the button. The second step will display the discount code that the visitors can use to avail our special offer. Click the plus icon from top to create a new step for our pop-up. Let's resize the pop-up from the pop-up size tab. Now let's add a background image. and add a background image overlay. For this step, we will let visitors close the pop-up. So let's customize the look of the close button from the pop-up close section.
Now let's add our message. We will display the coupon code inside a box to make it stand out. First let's drag and drop a shape element from left and then change shape to the bordered box style. Then let's add our coupon code. Now that we are done creating the second step of the pop-up, let's connect it to the first step. Go back to step 1. We want the second pop-up to show up only when the Get Offer button of this step is clicked by the visitor. To do that, first click the button element. And then click the Action tab. Now set the Click Action option to Go to Step. And then select Step 2 from the drop-down. Let's also do that for our mobile layout. Now when a visitor clicks the Get Offer button, our second pop-up will appear. Let's save the pop-up again and preview it. Great! Our click action is working fine. But when the close button of the second step is clicked, the pop-up is closed and the top bar is not visible anymore. Let's change necessary settings, so that when the second step is closed by the visitor, the top bar appears again. Let's close the preview. Then let's go to the second step of our pop-up. Now from the pop-up close section, set the on close, also go to step option to step 1. Now when the visitor clicks the close button of the second step of the pop-up, the first step will reopen. Let's save the settings and preview again to see if everything is working as we expected. Let's also test the mobile version. Excellent! Everything is working perfectly. Now let's set how the pop-up conversion is counted by setting the pop-up goal action. We want Brave to increase the conversion count of the pop-up whenever visitors see the second step of the pop-up. To do that, first click the goal menu from top and then make sure the goal completes when option is set to visitor views a step. Then select step 2 from the target step option. Now when a visitor clicks the button from the first step and views the second step, Brave will automatically update the conversion count of the pop-up by 1. You can optionally enable the option to receive email notification whenever a visitor views the second step of the pop-up from the notification menu. That's it. You can follow the methods shown in this video to create any kind of top or bottom bar pop-ups with Brave.